I'm here with Tim Roberts. You're a creative here at SeaWorld or a show director? So I'm a uh, production supervisor with the entertainment department. Awesome, so you worked on the new parade. Uh, I, I, I helped with the Sesame Street Parade. We have a huge team that worked with the Sesame Workshop in helping make that come to life. Well, you have a new thing today that I'm still a little shaky, folks. <laughs> I just rode something they call the electric eel, and it is an off-the-charts coaster. I don't even know what you call is that a stall coaster or a launch? What is that? We are calling it a triple launch coaster. This is definitely something that our SeaWorld guests here at San Diego have never seen this before. 62 miles an hour, 150 feet up into the air, a zero-g heartline barrel roll at the top, 90 degree drops, and this ride packs a mean punch for sure. It does. I mean, I, I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't seen any videos. I hadn't read about it. I wanted to be surprised. And to say I was surprised <laughs> is an understatement. Uh, it launches and it goes up and then I thought, oh no, it's broken, we're gonna stall. And we went backwards back into the station yep. and then back again and then back and then up and over and it barely makes the turn to the top so you're just like hanging weightless. That's the, uh, yeah, I think that's one of the most exciting things is people when they see that barrel roll, they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go through that really quick. No, this is an under, this is an upside down view of San Diego. So we want you to take your time with that upside down view of San Diego. My heart is literally, you know when they say your heart is in your stomach? <laughs> literally. My heart is in my stomach, has been digested. <laughs> it's incredible. You guys have a, a real hit on your hands with this coaster. Do you consider this a family coaster? You know what, we definitely consider this a coaster for the thrill seekers of the family. I think our Manta, our other coaster here at SeaWorld San Diego, that's definitely more of a family coaster. This is more for the thrill seekers of the family. Well, I loved it and I think I would do it again. I probably need some caffeine first and psych myself up. This is up. a cup of coffee basically. That is a cup of coffee. It really is. I, you know, I drive down from Burbank, mm -hmm. California, so about a three hour drive this morning, bright and early, mm -hmm. and I was a little groggy. No more, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna go 48 hours without sleeping. What else should we know though about SeaWorld San Diego? So if somebody's driving down for the day from LA mm -hmm. to check out this awesomeness, Absolutely. what else do they need to check so out? So we are definitely gearing up for what we like to call an electric summer. We just opened up our Sesame Street Party Parade last week and that'll be running weekends all the way through summer. Today we're opening up Electric Ocean and the next month, June 16th, we're opening our award-winning summer night event, Electric Ocean. It's back for its second year. There's an interactive dance floor. There's multiple nighttime shows, interactive light displays throughout the park. And then of course we all have our beautiful attractions, our beautiful exhibits, and of course our wonderful shows here at the park as well. I love this park, looks gorgeous right now. Flowers everywhere, uh, this amazing new coaster, your new parade, nighttime spectacular. So SeaWorld is turning it on for us this summer. They're electrified. This has been the Mice Chat Doc.